What's going on guys, Victor here, and today it's all about one thing, and that is to do a Bonita Catch Clean Cook for you guys. I'm out here on the Jupiter Ledge with YouTube's most famous mustache, my buddy Chris Lowe. I don't know, Jesse might have me beat. No, you have the world's most famous mustache. This mustache right here has been seen over 24 million times on the uh, viral Jetty Giants video. Bonitas are pretty easy to catch, but I want to get them all on artificial today. We got top waters like this Yozuri Hydro Pencil. We're going to fire out the popper. And what I really want to do is put up the drone and get some insane eats for you guys. So hopefully the fish cooperate. Now let's get to fishing. Oh yeah, here we go. A shark or a big king? Chris is on the live bait. I told you guys it would be an all artificial day, but we gotta throw out one live bait. That ain't no shark. You wouldn't be turning it that it fast like if king. it was a shark. It, felt like a king it, when it, it, hit, but it not, looks. It's not running. Oh like uh, yeah. Oh yeah. By the way, say congrats to Chris Lowe. You guys can comment below. First, well, one of the first times he's fishing on his brand new skiff. He redid the whole thing by himself. Looks pretty freaking sweet. It's a king. Is it? Yeah. That's oh yeah, nice king. Nice, bro. First king on the boat. There you go. Awesome. So, first kingfish for low. It's a bold move, Cotton. Let's see how it plays out for me. Look at that. No way. Yeah, bro. First drop on the jig, baby. It's a freaking king! It's a freaking king! Look at that! That'll be. Or not. Would have been. Catch and release. Cut me off. And on the one and only must add vertical jig. <laughs> hey, what do you know? All right, well, we got our one bonita for the catch and cook. Now we just need to catch one on the popper. Oh, our first shark. Check this out. You, got, oh, you guys got to see this. So, you know when you're in Jupiter, when you can literally just be here for two seconds and sharks always pull up to the boat. There's just a huge population of sharks here, always. Must add vertical jig. I hate to sound like a broken record. I know I've been promoting the jig a lot, but it works. Bonitas, kings, uh, tunas, what else? Gag grouper, red snapper, vermilion snapper. It literally catches everything. If you guys fish offshore, get yourself a jigging setup and get yourself some must add vertical jigs and you guys can save 20% off all must add products. Use my code Landshark. I'll have it on the screen here as well as in the description box below. Whoa! Oh! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, you got a pack of sharks on it. Is there? Yeah. Here, let's play with the sharks a little bit. You see all those sharks right there? What, we've been here three minutes and now there's already freaking one, two, three, four, five sharks on it already. Risky business. I'm telling you, that's what, four for four? Yeah. Four drops on the jig. Bonita! All day long, baby. Keep throwing the popper, the hydro pencil, but you gotta get them real fired up and we have nothing to chum with. They kind of stay down deeper in the water column and uh, unless you're chumming, you can't really raise them. Let's see if you could get them up before the sharks get you. Oh, they're not even messing with it. I see the bonies, I see the bonies. There's the shark. <laughs> oh wow, smoking you. I don't know. A lot of tail shakes. Oh my gosh. I don't care what people say. They say Bonita are trash fish. Far from it. They are so much fun. 
Aggressive as hell. Ah! Well, we got sharks. Wow, they are fired up. Dude, look at how many sharks are around the boat. Just gonna have to jack ready. You catch one fish and it's game over. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's no way you're landing anything with all these sharks around. They are just waiting. They're so well trained. There's a couple dive boats out here who feed them. A lot of people are against it. That's one of the problems. And just the fact that there's so many boats out here and when people lose fish, these sharks, they know if they stick around a boat long enough, they're gonna get fed a good meal. <laughs> On the bucktail jig! Oh my gosh, you see him having a heart attack? Look at that rod! Oh! Oh, right there! Is that a kiss? No, no, it's a gun. Get your head out of the wall. Bonita on the, on the Mustad bucktail jig. One of my favorite lures, bucktail jigs. Dude, they're smoking everything. Now, except there's nowhere to work it, we got weed. Did I just take off that rod? Oh boy. It hit a rod. That was not supposed to happen. It's never happened to me before. It's tweaking oh, out now, looks like, doesn't it? It's, it's not flying right. Yeah. Never had, usually the drone, when you take off, it goes straight up, but today somehow it like nicked the rod. It did not take off evenly, and now the drone is not flying correctly. Like, I cannot just stay locked in on the boat like I normally can. So I don't know what's gonna happen. Landing this thing is not gonna be fun. All right guys, so we are done Bonita fishing. Got our trophies in the boat. We got 20 um, on a mixture of, actually the majority have been on uh, jigs. So must add bucktail jig, vertical jig. I'll have both linked below once again. And um, so Chris asked me, he, he goes, hey man, I got the skiff. You wanna go offshore? I said, let's send it. So he's actually going to sell these Bonita. He gets like 50 cents, 40 cents a pound, right? Yeah, it fluctuates. Uh, so. Depends on how many fish people turn in and how much the market has. So the price will go up and down, but it's usually around 50 cents for an unregulated species like Bonita. So we could stay out here all day and probably fill up the boat and get a hundred, but today's just having a fun day. I wanted to get that drone footage for you guys, but it did not happen almost lost the drone so uh i'll catch you guys at the dock this is the feared bonita also known as a false albacore i'm gonna fill it up and show you guys there is absolutely nothing to be afraid about properly iced fish and f eaten fresh it's going to be fine and delicious I guarantee it fine so, dining fine bonita dining so we're just gonna knock off one side. I wanna show you guys what, what the meat looks like. So for those of you guys who don't know or may not know, um, Bonita, we call them Bonita. They're not actually Bonita. It's a uh, false albacore. That's what the Northerners call them or Albies. So down here, most people kind of view them as a trash fish and it's because their meat is kind of red and honestly I actually I really don't know where the trash fish thing came from but like you guys heard Chris say so these fish you can get 50 cents to 40 cents a pound which is horrible I mean tuna are one of the highest selling fish in the ocean especially something like bluefin blackfins also don't have much of a market um, for them as well but I really don't know why Maybe you guys can comment below and you um, you do know, but if, if you take a look, the meat looks pretty good. We're just gonna get rid of this belly right here, make a great snapper bait. I know that they have a very big bloodline, so that's this right here. So what I'm gonna do is 
I think this is where one, one of the reasons it gets a bad rap. I'm going to take off the bloodline on one side and on the other side. And you guys might be saying at home, wow, you were taking off a lot of the center, but you're going to see why in a second. Because they really do have that big of a bloodline. So if you look here, if you look here, see how dark and red that is? That is where an albi or a false albacore or bonita, whatever you want to call it, that's kind of where it gets its bad rap. It's a very thick bloodline, and I, I was very liberal with how much I took off. And look, even with taking off that much, there's still a ton to cut out. There's still a good almost half inch at the top. Of yeah, it's insane. So I think that's one reason people really don't like it. So, but you guys know there's no such thing as trash fish, just trash cooks. And that statement, you know, goes, uh, applies to the uh, fish processing itself. You gotta take care of the fish, ice it properly. You know, this fish, fish might not have as much yield, but look, once you take that off of there, it's firm, it doesn't smell whatsoever. If you just take the time, ice them properly, treat them like you would any other tuna, and take off the bloodline, which is probably where it gets its bad rap, and that's probably why people don't wanna keep it because there's a lot of waste, you know, try it. See, just, just from that side, you see how much waste you have right there. And that's without even skinning it. Um, if you like to eat the bloodline, that is completely up to you. And I gotta give a huge shout out to Dexter Outdoors, big sponsor on the channel. All the knives you guys see Brooke and I flay fish with, Dexter Outdoors. Made in USA, which is, I think, so cool, especially this day and age. Been around for 200 years. And you guys can actually save 20% off all Dexter products at DexterOutdoors.com. You guys can use my code Landshark. Now I'll meet you. Here is our Bonita, the star of the show. And I find it funny. People always want their tuna to be really red. Well, how come people make fun of Bonita for being red? I do not understand that. So this is what we got from the Bonita. One, probably like six, seven pound fish. There is a lot of waste. I took out all the bloodline any of the bad filamenty parts, but you get a decent yield. It's gonna feed my mom, me, Brooke, and my brother. And the first thing for a Reuben, you need to make a Russian style dressing, which I have some minced up dill pickle, as well as just a little yellow onion. And then for the base, um, I like to do half sour cream, half mayo. Because if you do just all mayo, it's a little bit too rich. So we do equal parts mayo and sour cream. And then what? how Thousand Island dressing gets its red color is ketchup. We'll do about a third ketchup. Dash of Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Give it a mix. Okay, and then a little bit of fresh ground black pepper. So Brick and I's favorite blackened seasoning, Chef Paul's. I'm gonna sprinkle it on our on our bonita. Nonstick pan, medium high heat, with some olive oil. Check it out. You give it a flip after three minutes on each side. And you get that beautiful golden brown color. So okay. You like that make me Try it. Sure. It's very good. Mmm. Not bad, really. Not bad? He looks like he hated it. You don't like it? Actually, when you, it's like the end, it tastes good. After the end of it, when you just eat it, and then the end, it tastes good. You don't like it because it's not cooked? Oh, I do like it. I just want the end, it starts tasting good. That's coming from a nine-year-old who just ate Bonita. So you like it or no? I do. Good. I love you can it. say you don't like it if you don't oh, like I it. Oh, I actually do like it. The whole thing with the tuna Reuben, I don't want anyone to have a giant piece of fish. So I'm gonna kind of just break it apart so it'll be easier to eat. Not pulverize it, but you know, just into smaller pieces. We already have our rye bread, butter on one side of the bread, then we have our bread, and then we have Thousand Island dressing, and then we're piling it on with our bonita. Now we top it off with some sauerkraut, a layer of Swiss cheese, and then we're still gonna do a little bit more Thousand Island right on top of that. In the same nonstick pan.
Watch this. Nice crispy rye bread, our tuna, sauerkraut, Thousand Island. Look at that. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. I love the sauerkraut. Not fishy? Yeah, fishy. Mm. Fishy in a good way? Mm -hmm. Of course. <laughs> of course. What do you think, Mom? It's very good. Actually, it's delicious. I don't like fish, but he makes me fish, but this is good. <laughs> I already have. It was absolutely delicious. I know a lot of people who watch this video, especially our friends who live around here, you guys know who you are. You're probably watching this video. Oh my God, he's so crazy. I can't believe he's eating that. Like, I would never do that or something like that. We have gotten in our heads and like, I really think it's this small area where we live. There are people who would never give a second thought about eating a bonita. Like, they would think that we're so stupid to throw them back or to use them as bait. They would think that we're just wasting such a good fish. And like, that's exactly what we're basically doing. Like, there are people who eat it as sushi, sashimi, and would never think twice about eating a bonita. And we in this area of where we live just have it in our heads that it's a trash fish. And we need to get that mindset out of our heads because it's good. As long as you treat your fish correctly, take care of it, ice it, clean it correctly, take out the bloodline, take out the fishiness, it's just as good as tuna. You are fired up to make <laughs> job, brother. I mean, even my dad, and dad, you're watching this, he literally said, I was like, yeah, Victor's gonna do a bonita catch and cook tonight. He goes, ah, oh, must have been a slow day of fishing. <laughs> and it's like, no, that's literally what he set out to do, yeah. was to do this catch and cook, to show you guys, including you, dad, that it's not a trash fish, that it's a good fish. Now I'm gonna eat my other half. <laughs> Good job. I didn't even notice that it is a trash fish. No. Are we eating a it's trash fish, like... Victor? Yeah. <laughs> we are? Yeah, a trash fish. It came out of the garden. No, there's no such thing. Why are you let, let me let me explain. Why is she saying that? You. Nobody eats like, is this. It a they tuna? sell it. Yeah, it's yeah. A, type, a type of tuna. They sell it for forty cents a pound, which is like dirt cheap for a fish. Here? Yeah. Nothing is wrong with this fish. Forty cents a pound is insane, in my opinion. I don't know where that came from, but I guarantee you, if people keep making videos like this and people's minds change, that fish is gonna go skyrocket in price as people realize there's no such thing as a list of good fish and a list of bad fish. They're all good. It's all how you take care of it. Even like someone, my mom, as soon as we told her it's a trash fish, she started picking the fish out of her bread because she was terrified of it. Yeah. That's what Brain happens. It's a freaking endless cycle of people feeding into their heads and oh man, don't eat that, it's bad for you, blah, 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 blah. So get that out of your heads and try it for yourself because you're never gonna know until you try it for yourself. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in that next video. Yep.